Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Natasha, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the cost per use of three different sunscreens. I'm gonna be talking about the Crave Beauty Beach Shield, the Too Faced Hangover Good To Go Skin Moisturizer with SPF 25, and the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. I'm also excited to announce that today's video is in collaboration with Sally Choi. She is another YouTuber who recently came onto the scene. She got in touch with me saying that she is also tracking some of her skincare products and wanted to know if it would be alright if we did a video together and I think that's fantastic. Truly, the more people who track uses and share that information, the better in my opinion. She not only talks about beauty, she also talks about health and fitness and other general happiness related content. Her most recent video is a duping video recreating the Urban Decay Naked Ultra Violet Palette that just came out. And in general, I really like her content, I like her personality, and I definitely think you should check her out. So I'll have her linked in the description box. I turned my light on for a second so that you can see my back wall. If you can see, I do have a different design happening back there. It's actually a flower wall, and I made that myself. That is a DIY project. And I will have a video up tomorrow showing you how I made that flower wall in case you wanted to make one for yourself. I'm gonna turn the light back off because it's making me look really weird with that in the background. So let's just jump right in. The first product I'm gonna talk about is from Crave Beauty. This is the Beach Shield. It's technically SPF 50, but because of US regulations, they can't put that on the packaging, but it is an SPF product. It's 1.7 ounces and it's 50 milliliters. Full price is $11.76 per ounce and 40 cents per milliliter. But if you get this 20% off, which I hear happens on the Crave Beauty website on occasion, I've never been able to catch it, but I hear it's possible. So if you get a 20% off, that'll drop it to $16 and that makes it $9.41 per ounce and 32 cents per milliliter. I was surprised to get 51 uses out of this, which is actually more than I thought. It is a very liquidy formula and it is a smaller bottle. So I didn't know how many uses I'd be able to get putting it all over my face, neck, and the top of my chest, which is how I applied all of these sunscreens. So I did use a pretty generous amount every single time. I did not hold back with any of these SPF products and I still was able to get 51 uses out of it. That makes it 39 cents per use full price and if you get it on sale it's 31 cents per use. I thought that was pretty steep until I looked at the other two so I'm just gonna jump into the other two and then talk about them all together. The next one is the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen and this one full price is $34. This is only the travel size but I did do calculations to determine how many uses it would take to use up a full size so that's the number I'm going to share with you. Full price it is $34 for 1.7 ounces and 50 mils. That makes it $20 per ounce and 68 cents per milliliter. 20% off this is $27.20 making it $16 per ounce and 54 cents per milliliter. I got 21 uses out of the half ounce version so if I calculate that to figure out how many uses it would take to use up a 1.7 ounce package it would be 71 uses making it 48 cents per use or 38 cents per use if you get it on sale. And the very last one is the Too Faced SPF 25 moisturizer. I used two pumps of this in order to cover everything that I wanted to cover. Full price, this is $34 for 1.4 ounces or 40 milliliters, making it $24.29 or 85 cents per milliliter. If you get this for 20% off, it's once again $27.20 or $19.43 per ounce and 68 cents per milliliter. I got 164 total pumps worth of product out of here. Since I used two pumps each, that gives me 82 uses to finish, making it 41 cents per use or 33 cents per use if you get it for 20% off. At around the 158 mark, I did have to cut into it and take the rest of the product out. So that extra six pumps was another three uses after I couldn't get anything more out after pumping. So if you're not the type of person who likes to cut open products, your number will most likely be closer to 158 pumps. So if you can see, even when you get these on sale for 20% off, they're still above 30 cents per use. And I do understand that SPF is important and I have no problem paying more if it's a good product, if it actually protects my skin from the sun and it works well for my skin, it doesn't make me too greasy, it works well with makeup, etc. If it's a high quality SPF, I guess I don't feel too bad about spending a little bit more. Of course, I'm always going to be on the lookout for like a really affordable, really good value SPF that I like, and I'll probably never stop searching for that. <laughs> and so even though I do always want the cost per use to be lower than it is, I'll always want it to be cheaper, of course. These are still products that I would purchase again because they do provide value for me in the way that they protect my skin. So 
I would say my favorite one is the Crave Beat Shield, number two is the Too Faced, and number three is the Unseen Sunscreen. The Too Faced and the Crave Beauty ones have more of like a lotion feel to them. They feel really nice and moisturizing. They're not moisturizing enough to use on their own, I wouldn't say, unless you do have like more oily skin and you want something more lightweight. But they perform well with the skincare that I use. They work well under makeup and they don't dry me out or make me super greasy, so I like that. I like the consistency of these. They don't have a super like thick mineral sunscreen type of feel. What I don't like about the Unseen sunscreen one, which I wasn't expecting, was it definitely has like a very lightweight silicone primer feel. And I don't really love that. I don't love silicone-y feeling products to begin with, so that's more of a personal preference. It is really nice because it doesn't have any white cast because it is like a clear gel silicone-y feel. And it is smoothing. I wouldn't say it's pore filling by any means, but it does have like a smoothing effect. This also doesn't pill up or get weird if it gets too close to your eyebrows or your hairline. So that's a really good thing. A lot of like silicone-y products tend to ball up and look like weird flakes if it gets anywhere near like the hair on your face. But I am glad I got the travel size of this and I'm glad I don't have to work through the full size because the formula, the feeling of it is not my favorite. But some people might really like that so I wanted to point it out. I am working through a lot of different sunscreen products right now, so I hope to have a part two to this video coming up later on. I have one from Pure Cosmetics, I have one from Julep, I have one from e.l.f., and I think I have one more, but I, it escapes me. Based on the products that I talked about today and what kind of formulas I preferred, let me know if you have any suggestions of other cruelty-free SPF products that you think I should try out. Sally Choi will be talking about even more products in her video. I think the last time we spoke she was working on like five or six different products, and I think one of them was also an SPF. So please be sure to go check her out, tell her I said hello, but in the meantime that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!